Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to dump your PS4 games and turn them into fake package files, either for backups or so you can play your games off the home screen without the disc. First thing you're going to want to do is get a sizable USB storage device and format it into XFAT. Right click, go to Format, go to File System, choose XFAT, Quick Format, Default Allocation Size, and hit Start. Hit OK. Once that's done, head over to your PS4. Once you're at your PS4, navigate to the Items Flow Game Manager. If you don't already have this, I'll have a download link in the description. You can also get it from the Homebrew Store. Also will be in the description. Go to the Items Flow Game Manager, click X. Once that loads, you should see a list of your games. I'm going to be dumping this disc game of Days Gone right here. Make sure you have your XFAT USB inserted into the console. Click right and go to Dump, hit X. You can either dump all, dump base game only, dump patch only, dump remaster only, or dump DLC only. For this, I'm going to be dumping all. Hit X again. This will launch the game. You have to have the disc in the console. The process should start and complete on its own. Just wait. Sometimes it can get stuck for really large files. Just give it time. For larger games, it usually takes about 30 minutes. Once it's done, it should say dump complete without errors. Hit OK. Exit the item flow manager. At this point, you can take out your USB and put it in your computer. All right, once you got your USB back in the computer, you should see these files on the root. These two files you can delete if you'd like. This right here is going to be your game. When you dump a game, it creates a GP4 file. This is going to be the file that you use to compile into the fake package. Now that that's all set, you're going to need to download that file I have in the description. Once you clicked on that link, it should bring you to this page. Hit download this file. Once that's downloaded, right click, extract here. You should see a folder called files. Go into that folder. Here you're going to see PS4 fake package tools. Go into that folder. You're going to see this batch file called temp folder patcher.bat. I don't recommend running as administrator. I had issues. Just double click. Now here it's going to ask you to choose a temp folder location for the temporary files. Make sure that the temp folder location is large enough to fit the game. In order to check the file size of the game, go to the USB, right click, hit properties on the game folder. This days gone is 42 gigabytes, so for this you'd want to make sure that you have at least 42 gigabytes free on your temp folder location and on the drive that you plan to compile the fake package file onto. It has three options. C drive slash games, D drive slash games, and custom location. In order to check your drive letter, go to this PC. You should see here we got C drive, D drive, E drive, and F drive. We're going to want to put the temp files onto the F drive. I recommend selecting a temp drive that's different from the drive that you plan to compile to. So for this, we're going to want to choose F. So here we're going to click 3 for custom location. For whatever drive you choose, you're going to want to create a folder on the root called games. Right click, new folder or control shift n name it games so for this for the f drive we're going to hit f colon backslash games hit enter once you do that this window should pop up go up to the top left and hit file hit open navigate to where you have the game file stored choose the gp4 file right up here at the top right of the window hit build hit close down here you should see output path, hit select, and this is where you're going to select where you want to put your files. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Again, I don't recommend using the same drive that you selected for your temp folder. Now you're going to want to hit save. On some displays you may have the bottom cut off. For me that is the case. So once you select your output location, hit save, and hit tab, then enter, and it should start the process. You're going to get a myriad of warnings. By the end, it should say finished with warnings. That's okay, as long as it doesn't say finished with errors. On rare occasions, it can get stuck at the end. So if after about an hour, it still isn't fully done, just exit the program, either through task manager or whatever you have to do. It should be finished and it should work. Also on rare occasions, the GP4 file can have some issues. For this, you can make your own GP4 file. Go back to the fake package tools folder. And you're going to see here, gen GP4 underscore app. Double click that. And it should bring up this window. Here you're going to want to hit this folder icon. Navigate to where you have your game stored. For me it's going to be CUSA08966. Just click on the folder and hit OK. Then you're going to want to hit generate.gp4. This process is usually pretty quick. Once it's done hit save.gp4. 
save it anywhere you'd like, preferably on the same drive that you have the game folder stored on. Name it whatever you'd like. Once the process completes, it should say 100% create image process finished with warnings. Hit close. Now navigate to where you chose to build the file. For me, it was the desktop. So right here, we got the fake package file, days gone. And that should be able to be installed just like any other package file. So let's test it out. I'm going to copy it over to the USB. I recommend making sure that the package file installs correctly before you delete your games folder. That way you can recompile if necessary. Once it's done transferring, you could take your USB and plug it into the PS4. Once you've plugged your USB into the PS4, navigate to where you install package files. For me, I'm using Golden Hen. So go to settings, go to Gold Hen, go to package installer. And right there, days gone, complete. Now, if you have a game that's installed already, you can either delete the game and try to install it here, or you can just hit X and it should ask you if you want to overwrite the game. For me, I'm going to hit yes. The game should install much quicker than it took to dump, but it still will take a little while. Once the install is complete, it should say ready to use in the top left corner. Go back to your games. You should be able to find it right here. As you can see, there's no longer a disc icon, and I'll take out the disc right now. As you can hear, there's no disc in there. Let's see if the game works. Alright, it looks like the game is working just fine. So that's it, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Other than that, take care.